guys, we're here at TGU 19 and I'm absolutely delighted to be putting right a wrong at GitCon because I <laughs> desperately wanted to chat to this man here at GitCon and we never got a chance. As I keep telling people, you were the busiest man, you were going past like a freight train. It is, of course, <laughs> the wonderful, the enigmatic Mr. Pete Thorne. Thank you so <laughs> much up? for coming yeah, on my channel. Nice to see you. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Really good to have you here. Yeah. And today, we're gonna to be looking at this little beauty, which I'm gonna move out of the way of the touch. And Pete's gonna tell us and give us a bit of a demo of his Sir PT-15. Brand new amp, we've been working on it for years. John came up with uh, a little prototype about 2014, something like that. It was the PT-100 Channel 2, mated to a 6v6 power section, about 15 watts, and this little head he built. Yeah. It just sounded amazing. And I was like, dude, we gotta do this. And I thought then, you know, even if it was just that, that one channel, just a simple, you know. Um, and anyway, the years went by and, and it, it, that kind of never happened, but the idea was still being talked about and evolving and stuff, and it's sort of culminated in this. Now, over the years, um, what we've found is that, you know, there's this trend towards quieter stages, and also technology's kind of gotten better and better. And yeah. in the meantime, Sir brought out their reactive load, which is, you know, a really incredible load yeah. box, allows you to load any amp down to line level, take a line level signal out into a, Either PA or for reamping or for recording, right. adding impulse responses for speaker simulation, that right. kind of so thing. Right, so like an aux box? Yeah, or sort of, yeah. It's like a simpler version of an aux, yeah. is really cool. uh, the way I think of the reactive load. Essentially, like a, a strip down, but with the best load in the business. I think nice. it's a really great load. So, anyway, what we've done with this is combine all that and basically scale down the PT100 into it. It's a three channel amp. Uh, just like the PT100, but 15 watts with that same basic power section that John made about five, six years ago for Beautiful. the little prototype. Yeah, yeah. And then we've included the Sir reactive load in there. Uh, his son, Kevin Sir, had a lot to do with the design of this thing. He was able to okay. miniaturize the reactive load and put it inside this amplifier. Yep. And also we were able to get together this impulse response stuff and put it in an amp. So yeah. that you've got 16 IRs loaded in here. So the advantage being, this is a tube amp. At the core, it's an all tube, three channel amp. Yeah. Uh, are they programmable IRs or are they, are yeah. they fixed IRs? So you can change them if you, you want You can to. change them. Yeah. Wow. That's it's cool, a USB man. jack on the back, and some people are like, oh, what's that for recording us? It's yeah. just to load the IRs. Right. That's what right. it's for. Fantastic. So plug it into your computer, and it'll show up like a hard drive on your desktop. Superb. And the neat thing with this is actually that you can load in your favorites, but then you can program them per channel. So if you've got like a favorite clean IR right. and a favorite dirty IR, maybe two favorite dirty IRs, you can have different ones on every channel. It's going to be like having three cabinets live. And switching them. Just... Yeah. Wow, fantastic. You like yeah. an open back 410 for yeah, your yeah. clean, but yeah. you want to you know, close back 412 for your dirty, and maybe a different close back 412 for your really dirty, you can do that. Right, got gotcha. you. Yeah, yeah that's and that's cool, all going man. to the, the monitors, front of house, in-ears, whatever, you know, and, and that'll be your sound in the PA. Yeah, yeah. Dialed in, the same every night, perfectly consistent, okay. really great mic'd up cabinet sound. Uh, and so basically what I'm getting at is that plugging in a cabinet's an option like this. You know, you can, you can just use it. We don't actually even have it plugged in here. What nope. we, what I thought would be fun here today, we're recording the audio on this, this zoom out here, yep. is uh, because uh, we haven't done this yet, is what does this thing sound like at low, like kind of a talking volume, yep. like we are talking right now, loaded down uh, and through this, we got a Yamaha studio monitor here. And it's just plugged right out of the cable into the back of the amp, right into this thing. Powered speaker, full range. And then we get this little, like, $180 Fender monitor. Yeah, uh, monitor, or yeah. It's, yeah. It's it, like a Bluetooth speaker. It's a full Fun range thing. speaker. Yeah. That, yeah, that you're supposed to jam your phone through and that kind of thing. But yeah. it had an eighth inch in. I said, let's try it, let's see how it sounds. So, you know, basically, um, this is, you know, a real world mic in the room example of what this thing so sounds we'll like. Go from the PAL from now and into the room mic, so now you know what this sounds like in the room, so this is us talking in the room, yeah. and this is the monitor in the room. Yeah. Just to give you an idea, play again, Pete, if you would. Yeah. This is me playing, and this is me talking over the top of Pete, so it gives you a 
good idea of the room level and also the level of the speaker. This is almost comfortable to talk over and yeah. certainly for anybody out there that was a bedroom player. Yeah, this is it. This is not going to annoy the neighbors. No. And the great thing is, yeah. you were saying, we were having a chat with Film at Night yesterday. Yeah. And you were saying the lovely thing about this is you can take it backstage at a gig. Yeah. You can warm up with everything belting on full. Yeah. Put it through a monitor just at the right level to be comfortable for everybody else. You've got the exact tone you want. Walk out on stage, put this down on top of whatever cab you want to use, or yep. even just take a DI out into the amp, and you've got exactly the same sound. Exactly, consistent wow. sound. And it's yeah. even got a headphone jack, so like we don't even need to have this. You could be doing it totally silent through phones. And it's an eighth inch headphone jack as well. And it's Good also idea. got an eighth inch aux in, so right. that you could run a phone or something into it and play tracks, play tracks along, and then jam along. You rehearsal know. stuff, absolutely. Yeah, Fantastic. so the idea is, you know, it's just the tube amp for, you know, uh, for every situation. You know, you can use it in, in a, you know, a typical stage through a cabinet. Or if you're in one of those situations where the, the you know sound people are saying we don't want any cabs on stage or yeah. only a really low volume or whatever, or you know maybe you just want to use in ears and you don't want to carry a cabinet, yeah. well you, you're covered and you got great mic, consistent sure. sound. That's so, that, so that's it. <coughs> Trying to make the tube amp basically move it forward into the future so that it's um, you know. Um, still relevant and usable in situations where maybe you'd be like, well, I got to go to modeler, you know, I got to yeah. use a modeler. And with this thing, you, now you can still, you know, because the great thing about it is, of course, like, I want more bass. I want less bass. It's a knob. I can just reach out and do it. It's an amp. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. I want less bright. Hit the bright switch. It's that immediacy, and it smells good. You know, you can smell oh, the food. Yeah, it's got and that, you, swear, <laughs> you get the best of both worlds. It's exactly what you were saying on the panel yeah. at Gitcom when we were talking modelers versus tube amp. Everybody wants that response under the fingers yeah. of a tube reacting to what you're playing. You've yep. got that sag, but then you've also got all of the positives of having any speaker cab through your IRs yep. from the digital phase of it. So yeah. absolutely marvellous. And you could literally take the digital phase of that out and into any clean say MOSFET amp to just jack the, the volume up. Oh yeah, if you want to do like a reamp, kind of like, and this is the other thing, yeah. if I go like this, I'll disable the IRs. There's a switch on the back here. Now there's no IR, so it's full range. <laughs> <laughs> that's what the IRs do. Man. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the sound of a guitar through a PA with no cabinet. <laughs> so, but you could just take that line out and run it into say a MOSFET power amp exactly. or some kind of power amp and go into, uh, you know, and have whatever you Proper want. Sweet cap, yeah, exactly. It's an ultimate range. kind of reamp. You know, so you can take it out and run it into effects if you want, whatever you want to do. So basically what you've done is this is the be all and end all now of amps. Because I it's got so. everything that you need and everything, every combination of uh, it's the fact that it's tube, the fact that you've got the impulse response, the fact that you can use it to reamp stuff. I guess also that for your channel, this is also the perfect pedal platform. Oh yeah, it's a great with pedals. Channel One is really similar to the Cerebella, which was created yeah. to be a pedal platform. Of course, because you've got all of that control. Yeah. Of, obviously, the, the, the Channel One, nice and clean anyway, but you've got all of that control on the output as well. So yeah. to be able to demo it, it must be a joy in your studio just to be able to Oh, dude, Pretty you get work done mixer. so fast. Yeah. I mean, like, that's the thing, is getting work done fast. I took it to a session, actually, a couple of weeks ago in, a, in an El Dorado studio in LA, like Big Pro Studio. They had a cab mic'd up, ready to go in the other mm. room. And I said, you know, this thing's got this line out on it. You should just try it. Yeah, he was like, he was like, you know, ready to probably not like it. And then he's like, when he heard it, everybody just forgot about the cab. They're like, okay, that sounds great. Let's just move on, you know. And then we just got on to tracking, making music. Yeah. And that's the idea, is the quick... You know, getting getting stuff done. You can mic the cab if you want. There's, it's nothing stopping you from doing that. I should mention too that a, a neat thing is that one of the outputs on the back for the speakers it'll disable the load when you hook up a cabinet, and so you know you hook up the speaker that becomes the load. Load, yeah. The other one leaves the load in line, which if you lower the impedance on the, on the cab, or sorry, on the amplifier to half, right. it'll be like having two cabs plugged in. Right. And one, so one's taking half the load, like the load will take half the load and then whatever cabinet you got plugged in will take, take half, half the load. load. And it's essentially like cutting the amp volume in half. Yeah. And it's, so it's like seven watt amp at that point. Yeah. Just sure. a, a neat thing that you can do with it with a load box is use it as kind of a, 
uh, a dummy load on one output and the speaker on the other one. It, it, same thing will happen with an amp if you you know use a, a big you know high power 100 watt head and go into say two 412s. Well, right. each cabinet is then splitting the the, the power kind of. Of course, the, yeah. Uh, yeah. Obviously, you're getting the output of that, but this is kind of attenuating it because it's it's splitting it, exactly. cutting it half. Fantastic. Yeah. So Real I want to show you one thing. Yeah, um, yeah, man. If I go to channel one for a sec. This is this is the, the the clean channel that we're saying is derived from the Bella. Yeah. Um, so at a, we've got the amp cranked up pretty. Like if we were playing through a cab, it'd be pretty loud, but yeah. pretty healthy volume right now. Incidentally, we don't have any DIs here. Nothing. Everything you're hearing from the guitar and from the amp is from the ambient room mic. Yeah. This is just. I thought it'd be cool to do this. Like just you know, cab in the room, and you can get a good exam. Uh, yeah. This is what it just sounded like at, in, at home or whatever in the room. You know. Um, so this is this is the clean channel. Now, if I turn up the the, uh, I'm going to bring the gain up just a little bit. The, then I'm going to vary the volume knob here. And this is true, like the amp's cranking right now, but yeah. it's at low volume. Yeah. So I can bring this up and actually get into. This. Actually, I'll let you do it while I play. Yeah, just on. this that control right there. Yeah, just, just go anywhere from like four till six, and you'll hear the the okay. output tube starting to clip. So. Oh yeah. So feel that under the, so that's true 6v6. Really you know, nice tube saturation, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah. You really that, nice. That compression, that middle. Yeah. And also the touch. So you can, you can really explore all those cranked tones that are difficult to do, you know, at, at, at a full volume. But when you're trying to mic things, get it maybe in this, like somewhere between, you know, like clean Princeton at lower volumes, but yeah. then you turn it up, maybe you want a Tweety Deluxe kind of thing. That, yeah, or a basement, that clip yeah. of a basement. I love that yeah. sound. Yeah. I yeah. love that when you just back off, Yeah. and then, but the pick attack is there. And you Yeah, you can hear it kind of, you know, the exactly. ant's really breathing. Yeah. Now, if I turn it down, yeah. you'll hear it just clean right up. And it's really clean. That's yeah. a really nice sparkly black Spark face. Yeah, yeah. You know, kind of. Exactly what I was going to say. Yeah. Yeah, the black face fender kind of thing. This great thing, you know, with that with the range, yeah. uh, just on channel one, you know, and then you can go, of course, over to the more, you know, Brit flavor on yeah, channel, for channel sure. two and so three. You've got, like nice, clean, all the fenders sort of sounds with the impulse responses. Obviously, you're playing through Fender Twin, Marshall yeah. four by twelve, Marshall four by ten. If you want, yeah, like yeah. right now on this sound, what you're hearing is an open back Sir one twelve with a, a V type speaker. Right. Um, but I can give you some different ones. So like this is it. This is, uh, try play it. I'll just switch while you play. Okay. Yeah. Nice and bright, that sound. A little warmer. Forward. Totally different. Oh, yeah. yeah so this is a 212 with uh, 65s, Celestial 65s. You what can hear that. Yeah. Wow. like a cream back that yeah it's actually just a it's the same cabinet that i did with this one but i blended the mics different yeah. and i'm using a bit of op uh, open back with the mic on the back yeah, yeah. so it's my two mics on the front and mic on the back blended in do you know what's made me laugh so, we're that? talking about cream backs that sounds like this that sounds like it's coming out of that yeah it's coming out of this <laughs> that's, Yamaha studio that's just monitor. crazy man yeah, that's that's really neat. It's, it's pretty fun this is this is the 
the reaction I love because people play it and they go like, "This is fun, man! Like I can explore all this tube stuff without exactly like, yeah, yeah. killing my hearing, and I can. You, it's it's real." You and know? also that tube reaction, it's there. There you go. Just yeah, the volume. So it's fun, you know. If I go here now, instantly when, you'll notice these lights change when I go to channel two. It's going to switch yeah. to the greenback IR, and right. so this is now greenback four twelve. <laughs> And then channel three is V30s. Right. And that, that it's got that real, the, the top end, you can hear that just. Yeah, that upper mid yeah. V30 thing just happens. Yeah. I'll play the same riff, just yeah. because it's the only one I know. <laughs> yeah. I'll set up the gain up. Same. Is a nice amp. Fun, right? Shall we? <laughs> shall we do? Yeah, let's try this thing. Should so we try this? This is like probably a I don't know two or three hundred dollar Yamaha studio monitor. This thing's one eighty. Yeah. So this will be a Fender's powered speaker. Absolutely, and this will be completely flat response. The the studio monitor or, or close to it. Really, it could be just this. This could represent your home hi-fi system. Yeah. Your, you know your little Bluetooth amp Bluetooth that you put your phone through. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's not actually a guitar. Well, that looks like it. Looks like you're target, but it's a Fender Bluetooth. Yeah, it's supposed to be full range, relatively. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's the same sound that we had out of that, and actually, you can hear the difference straight away. Obviously, this is not a flat response studio monitor. Yeah, this has got some. This has got some, some color kick. of its own. So yeah, this is but like, that's okay. It's like it's interesting. It's still yeah. lovely. It's still it feels sounds cool. nice, doesn't it? Yeah. That is just... It's like MIDI and smaller sounding yeah, than this. Really. But it's, it still sounds good. The thing is, good. what you don't get, and I'm betting that the YouTube uh, compression will also kill the life out of this, but what you don't get when you watch these videos is yeah. the, the feel. You get the sound, the you get feel, a little yeah. bit of feel. It, yeah. it is squashed down, but when you're actually sitting playing it, it just feels, it, it, it's, a, it's a tube amp. Yeah. And yet it's yeah. being played through this little solid state piece of uh, Bluetooth. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, it doesn't sound as good through that, let's be fair, as it does through that. It's coloured by the uh, by the electronics. Well, we'll turn it all the way down so we can barely hear it. Because we're cranking right now. I mean, it's like full power right now. And through the, through the, yeah, through the tubes are yeah. glowing. But... And you can hear more of the... Yeah, check on the strings. Man, actually... This really rings out. Yeah. If you turn that right off. It's a loud guitar. The, this is the first time I've ever touched your guitar. This really sings out, man. Yeah. This is really. It's got, you know, great, great wood and stuff. They don't screw around with the woods yeah, and stuff. It's beautiful. It's, it's, uh, it's all good stuff, you know. So. Man. The, all the Sir guitars, every one I've ever picked up, they just ring like crazy. I just can't get that. Yeah. This would make lots of things sound good. I'm not taking anything away from Pete's amp. Pete's amp is amazing. But this is going to make everything sound good as well. It's a nice guitar, man. Thank you. Yeah, man. That's nice. Uh, let, me, let me pass it back to somebody that can play it. There you oh, go, man. sir.
<laughs> Man, Fun. this has been a privilege. It's oh. great to, to hear this amp. It's great to finally get to make a video with you. Ah, oh, thanks. Because man. I watch you a lot. And uh, you. also, I'd like you, if you'd be so kind, and this is a personal thing, to say hi to my buddy Pete in New Zealand, because he watches you a lot, and all my buddies online have been supporting him through his second bout of cancer. Oh, man. And he loves watching your channel, so I'm I know sorry he'll to love that. you to, to say hi to Pete. Yeah, Pete, best of luck, man. Just keep on fighting, dude. I know it's not easy. So we've all been touched by that, haven't we? It's yeah, just we like, have. and you just hear about more and more people every day, it seems, you know, and it's yeah. just so many people have been going through. It's so hard because it's like you don't have anything if you don't have your health. Yeah. And it's it's unfortunate. Sometimes it takes maybe uh, that in, in a family or having it yourself before you realize it, right? It's real yeah. tough, but it's so important to remember daily that, like, if, if you're uh, uh, not going through that kind of struggle, you know, it, man, it's a good day. Yeah, okay. Pete's home, he's well, so he's gonna love that. And yeah, best to you, Pete. I hope, yeah, you, I hope you're uh, just 100% real soon. You know? So from one super cool Pete to another super cool Pete, thanks so much again, brother, for doing this. And it's great to see this amp. Pleasure. And it's great to have you here. See you guys. You guys, until next time, take really good care. It's almost ready to fall, but I'm gonna, oh, oh yeah, I don't know. Cool, man. Maybe I did something wrong. Uh, Let's see. That's, that's in. Did I turn the amp off or something? Where's the guitar down? No. Haven't pulled that out. Let's see. Let's try taking that out and putting it back in again. Because it sounds like that's... Yeah, that's working. Uh, have you got it in the right output? That uh, needs to be over there, doesn't it? Oh, there's me telling you about your... <laughs> <laughs> this is the same stuff I do in the studio where it's like I plug the shit. What's wrong? Oh, you didn't plug it. Whatever. <laughs> That's funny, man. That was so dumb. So